Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus Man from IGS Electronics, and today we're going to be continuing with Zelio con two controller. So we're going to be checking out today the analog input card, the one we have already checked out the last video for the output. We are going to be looking into PT100 input today. So we're going to be seeing how to set up the PT100 temperature probe, actually the wiring and how to set, uh, set it up within uh, the Zelio Soft 2. So, uh, so yeah, that's what we've been doing today. Guys, if you haven't missed out the last videos, we already, well, previous videos, if you go into a Schneider Electrics A uh, playlist, do check out a lot of the stuff that I'm going to be adding in the future as well. Uh, not just the Zelios and all of the other parts in there. It's going to be from different, all sorts of different things we're going to be playing with. So do check out if you're interested to check out what Schneider's got on offer. So yes, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. So yeah, and uh, all the related manuals and everything I, I do believe could benefit you in any possible way. Definitely check out the description below because I often leave quite a useful links. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. <music> So here we are, so uh, here's our controller as from uh, the last time, so and this time we're just going to be uh, using a uh, IJ analog input and to quickly show you uh, the wiring and diagram so we sort of more or less understand what we're working with, as you can see for PT PT100 it is showing you in here how to wire it for the three wires and if you're trying to work out, as you can see in here I've got two blues and one red so the best way I would work out how to, which one is which is uh, the single. Is there's a single cable joining into end, and then the two join up in the other end. So those two would be the ones you will be going to IJ and PT, and the one has got the different color. Usually in is going to be uh, in my case. I've seen quite often it's a, a red and blue used. So in my case, red one is going to be my negative, which is uh, zero, and then IJ and PT. It doesn't matter uh, which one of those is going to return back in. Uh, both of them because they all join up in there anyway so uh so here we go so that's how is the best way to work it out so uh yeah as you can see down there the channel only channel we can use for a pt100 is uh, ij and then obviously uh, the second uh, same color ones goes in the pt and uh, the uh, different color which is our case is red is gonna go in to zero and that's pretty much when it comes down to wiring the probe looks pretty much like that I roughly have about 25, uh, 21 degrees inside my uh, uh, workshop at the moment, so we'll check out in a minute how this is done. Unfortunately, for this controller, you have to we're going to look in a minute in uh, in the setup. We have to use a function called gain to as uh, more or less uh, set this uh, this uh, controller uh, this card up to work and read exactly the temperature we are after. So for that, let's jump onto the uh, laptop, go into a uh, Zelio, and uh, we go from there. So here we are. So this is going to be continuations for, from the last video. We already done a bit, bit of programming on this one. We're just going to continue on it. So to to scroll down, as you can see down there, we need to, we're going to be working. Uh, as you, I'm not sure you watched the last video. We're going to be working with these two channels in here. And as I said, the PT100 is an IJ. So before we even can start working with anything, we need to configure that IJ to be PT100. So if you click on this guy in here, the uh, program uh, properties go into analog extension and do, uh, select a PT100. So that's the one we need to make sure it's selected for the controller to understand that they need to work with that kind of scaling. So uh, from there on, go into inputs and grab the one that says XT. It pretty much represents the XT card. So and you hold that one and then put it into the IJ. This is where that PT100 signal is coming into from our temperature probe. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to load this into the controller and quickly show you the initial reading that you are getting from uh, just uh, just by reading what's coming in without anything else. So let me just pump that in and go into monitoring. So here we are, so uh, once it's uh, all uh, monitored, as you can see, my value down here stands about uh, 328. That doesn't really represent anything, what I usually see. So I thought to myself, hmm, clearly there's something else you need to do. So uh, then I started digging around and then I come uh, through uh, this thing, I typed in a PT100 Zelio Logic. 
and somewhere down into some manuals. Obviously, I'm not the first time. I uh, didn't didn't just come up with that kind of search first time. So digging around the internet, this is the then I come up with is how to configure Zilla Analog PT100. So guys, I won't be able to put this as a link in the description below. So uh, just uh, follow these instructions. You should be able to get these links because it will open up as a PDF. Once it opens up as a PDF, and it pretty much tells you exactly what you need to do to get this working properly. As you can see, using PT100 input of this particular module that we're working on, its input range is about minus 25, 225C. If you have a different temperature range, you might have to consider different equipment. So uh, for the conversion of the signal, the resolution is 10 bits. Therefore, a PD100 signal is converted from 0 to 1023. So to represent uh, the temperature range of minus 25 and uh, 125. As you can see in here, so for, the, for, the, for us to be able to do that, we will have to use a, uh, a thing called the gain, okay? So, uh, which you're gonna, I'm gonna show that in a minute. Then it pretty much tells you exactly what values to edit to for it to function properly. So, here we go. So, having said that, let's jump back onto the program and get ourselves a game. And uh, to, uh, not in here, in here. So, game is right here, looks like that. And if I could uh, grab it properly, it would be very, very nice. And I can't grab it properly because I am still in monitory mode. So uh, let's go back to the thingy. There we go. There's our gain. Let's join it up. There we go. So there's the gain. Still has another another enable function in here. If you really want to read up what each thing means, just just double click it, guys. You will have to double click to edit values anyway, and just click a question mark, and you can really really read up for it. And it's it's got fantastic manuals. Schneider has put a lot of effort to put this manuals fairly readable and very understandable. As you can read about in here, the enable function, what it is. If the enable function has nothing to connect to it, it is uh, effectively enabled. That's what it says. So we're not going to do anything there. So editing values, which was a 150. And uh, this one was a 1023. And our offset C is going to be minus 25. Schneider's done all the work for us already. But click OK. So I haven't done that, so uh, let's put the text to it as well. So why not? So, and display that on the screen. So where's the text in here? There's a text. So put that text in here and use the channel one. So double click on the text. It will open you another window. We already looked at the text before. So uh, uh, here we go. One nine, yes, 19 is there. So let's do this. Temperature. And double click there, and we put a C in the end of it. Oh, not, not small C, a big C. So again, if you want to read up for it, click on it, and it is going to give you a whole load of information, what you need to read and know about this particular block. Pretty cool. So I haven't done that. So yeah, that's pretty much you're ready to go. This gate, again, you can use that for comparing, adding, you know, turning things on and off and blah, blah, blah. There's so much you can do with it. So have fun. So let's go into transfer, pump this into our PLC and have a look what it looks like. So once it comes out, so let's put it back in the run mode as well. So what I can do in here, so let him do his business in here and I will see you back on the camera. Here we are, that's what we just created. Let's quickly unplug that plug. And as you can see, it is showing me at now uh, 22C in it. If you look at the, if we were looking into monitoring mode, that would be uh, the, the uh, IJ would still show something about 300 something, but the gain has converted it into this value. And if you put down here, we put the hand on there and temperature should start rising if all went well. Hopefully it does. So as you can see, you have a zeros in front of it. I haven't even looked, uh, looked into it, how to remove those zeros in front of it and possibly add a decimal point. I'll probably look at that in the future, but for now, that will do. As you can see, the temperature just keeps rising and you have a pretty good reading and well in your way to setting up your first own temperature controller if you are working with Zelios. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do for this video. We have a bit more to work with Zelios. As, as you can see down there, I've got a, a, a mod bus card. But that's going to be for the future videos because we're going to jump in in the future. We're going to jump in into a uh, 
uh, these guys in here in the soon so uh, we're probably going to be playing with a bit of a networking and things like that as well for the schneider controllers and that ladies and gentlemen if you like the video don't forget to smash that like if it does help you out and and and, and, it, and it, it is giving you some some form of good results definitely comment in section below i would like to hear about your uh projects and how you are getting on so yeah and yeah thank you very much for watching and uh don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. And of course, if you like what we're doing here. And that, thank you very much for watching. See you later.